Well, I finished welding up the door, but my hinges didn't come in. They're supposed to come in today, but I checked and now they're not coming in till tomorrow. So I went ahead and <clears throat> I'm running a test here. I used this magnet to hold the door closed. And I got my digital temperature control running and it's hard to see in the video, but it's up to 166. Okay, so I have the smokestack welded on now, I have the cart welded on, I have the door ready to go, welded on, and I took it off temporarily while I got it stood up, I uh, got the heating element installed, I need to clean out the inside, install the rack. needs to be painted still and the door latches haven't come in yet so that's why I'm using the clamps to hold the door shut and then uh, I need to put the cutting board on the side and the expanded metal on the bottom shelf there but I'm running a test right now to see how quickly it'll come up to temperature it's been 15 just over 15 minutes and it's at 190 that's not too bad, especially for something that large with just one heating element. But the exterior, there's no heat coming through anywhere. It's nice and cool. There's 
a little bit of warmth right here at this edge, but nothing right here at this edge, but it's not, I mean, I can hold my hand on there. So, anyhow, it seems to be holding in the heat and see how long it takes to get up to 225 and then I'll crank it on up to see if it'll get up over 300 degrees, kind of clean the inside out. But we will see. Okay, well it took 30 minutes for it to get to 225 and then another 10 minutes to get to 250. And now it's on its way up to 300. It's at 290 right now, to almost 291. And it's been close to an hour, so that uh, 225 in 30 minutes is not too terrible. I mean, that's how long it takes for a charcoal smoker to heat up, or even a wood-fired smoker to heat up, a large one, that is. Anyhow, but uh, it looks like that extra 50 degrees takes a good a bit of time, which is fine because I don't plan on doing that often. I'm just experimenting to see if it would actually work to be able to run up to 300 degrees to use as a conventional type oven. Anyhow, we'll just keep going. It's getting there. It's 292 now almost to 300.